Plus, Hurricane Ian is approaching Florida. It made landfall in southwestern Cuba early Tuesday as a Category 3 storm. Forecasters predict the storm will strengthen and potentially land near the Tampa Bay area late Wednesday or early Thursday. For more on this, let's bring in Barbara Tripp. She's the fire chief in Tampa, Florida. Chief Tripp, thank you so much for being with us at this very busy time. This could be the first time Tampa Bay or the Tampa Bay area has taken a direct hit from a hurricane in more than a century. So how has the city been preparing? Well, thank you for having me, first of all. And of course, the city has been preparing ever since last week. When we um, actually heard of a possibility of a storm, we started with the communication throughout the community to start advising the community to start take, taking precaution. So some of the things that we've done also is reached out to the state for additional resources. We know that this hurricane is definitely going to produce a lot of water, a lot of rain. So because Florida, of course, Tampa is close to the Gulf, uh, we expect some high uh, surges to take place. So we have uh, offered sandbags to the community. We have different resources available. Uh, we've opened over 46 shelters for individuals, even for the vulnerable population. We have reached out um, the evacuation zones. We have law enforcement. We're going house to house and advising everyone to evacuate. So Chief Tripp, what do you do when you get to a house, advise people to evacuate and they say, we're not leaving? So we actually try to um, advise them of all the additional resources for the reason they don't want to leave, say they don't, don't want to leave their home because they're unsure. You know, we offer the shelters, but we can't force anyone to leave. But we pretty much just advise them that um, emergency assistance would not be available if the winds, you know, uh, are sustained for certain miles per hour because the safety of the public safety officers. So we won't be able to respond in case of a, a serious um, emergency to that location. And, and finally, Chief, when you think about all the things that can happen, obviously there's the wind, but storm surge, then generators can blow up. Can you give us a sense of how you think in your head about the the biggest threats and then some of the ones that those of us who are unfamiliar with these hurricanes might not even think about that result maybe even several days later from a catastrophic storm like this. So with any um, natural disaster, there are many unknowns. So the, what, what we're looking at here is a lot of water damage that could also um, evolve into electrical power being out. We have reached out to our local utility company. We have received over 3,500 additional workers to come in to assist us with that. Um, we're looking at generators, make sure we have fuel, make sure we have everything that's ready for the aftermath of this storm. All right, Tampa Fire Chief Barbara Tripp, thank you so much for being with us. Good luck.